It's common knowledge that carbon dioxide emissions from human activity contributes to climate change and global warming, but what many people don't know is that these emissions affect our oceans as well. As carbon dioxide emissions into the air increase, so do emissions in the ocean. 30 to 40% of carbon emissions end up in our oceans. The change in the ocean's chemistry because of carbon dioxide is called ocean acidification. When carbon dioxide reacts with the ocean, it creates carbonic acid. Carbonic acid can break down into bicarbonate, which can then further break down into a carbonate ion. However, both bicarbonate and carbonate come to be with the release of a hydrogen ion. Large amounts of carbon dioxide in the ocean makes an accumulation of hydrogen ions in the water, making the ocean more acidic. The ocean's increase in acidity sets off a chemical reaction which then reduces the availability of carbonate ions. Species like crabs, coral, oysters, and other mollusks use a compound called calcium carbonate. Calcium ions and carbonate ions together create calcium carbonate. This compound is fundamental to the building of shells and skeletons. However, because of the abundance of hydrogen ions, carbonate is bonding with hydrogen to make bicarbonate instead of forming with calcium ions to make calcium carbonate. This then reduces the availability of calcium carbonate in the ocean. In organisms who need calcium carbonate will spend more of their time building and maintaining their shells than searching for food. This makes it difficult for them to grow to their full capacity. Fish who eat these organisms or live in coral or ecosystems will struggle to survive because of the lack of lower organisms. And the bigger fish who eat them won't have enough to eat. Because of ocean acidification, many species of marine organisms will perish. This means that we won't have enough to eat. This provides a problem as one out of every seven people obtain their protein from seafood. That would equate to one billion hungry people. Several ways to stop ocean acidification. For starters, ending the burning of fossil fuels and turning to renewable resources will cut down tremendously on CO2 emissions and therefore the buildup of hydrogen in the ocean. On an individual level, you can reduce your carbon footprint and raise awareness by telling your friends, family, and by reaching out on social media. You can also contact your local congressman. Ocean acidification can be averted, but if it's not, our bountiful and diverse ocean could become a blank wasteland.